We're taking it to the international streets to try some raw meats. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. We're about to try some intriguing raw meat dishes from around the world, but before we get treated to the meat, today's episode is sponsored by HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. I love fall, who doesn't? The temperature drops, mm. the leaves change color, magazines say fall into fall. I think we should go even further. We should indulge in fall, okay. and HelloFresh agrees because now you can indulge in fall's bounty with HelloFresh's seasonal selection of savory sides and autumn-themed desserts. And in the HelloFresh market, you can mix and match sweets and beverages like ready-to-bake pumpkin cinnamon rolls, Woo! mini pumpkin cheesecakes, ah! and apricot pecan biscuit bakes, yeah. and spice lattes. Spice lattes, I appreciate the way you say pecan. What about the way I say spice? I, I, I wasn't impressed by that. With HelloFresh, produce gets to you faster than a grocery store, so it arrives at peak freshness and flavor, and if you increase your HelloFresh box servings, you can easily use leftovers for lunches. And HelloFresh makes eating well easier with many family-friendly, calorie-smart, pescatarian, and veggie options every week. Now, uh, Lando's been helping me out in the kitchen lately, meaning he's been doing everything instead of me. Good. So I certainly appreciate the family-friendly aspect of it all. He could easily make these Santa Fe pork tacos that we have before I us. could easily eat them. Oh, yes. I'd like Lando to make these for me. All right. Can call, that be arranged? Call him. So go to HelloFresh.com and use code GMM14 to get 14 free meals plus free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com and use code GMM14 to get 14 free meals plus free shipping. Thanks again to HelloFresh for sponsoring this portion of today's episode. I gotta finish my taco, man. Here it goes, I'm finishing it. <laughs> he has to chew a lot because it's something his grandmother told him when he was six years old. If doing this show has taught me anything, it's to be open-minded uh, when eating the unknown, like street meats, animal feats, and even eyeballs. So when it comes to dipping our toes in the world of raw meats, mm. I say, bring it on. It's time for Where, Where in the, the world, world do these international raw meat dishes come from? You know how this goes. We're gonna be trying a dish that features a big old helping of raw meat from somewhere in the world. We're gonna throw a dart at the country we think it's from. Now usually Chase measures how far our dart is from the right answer, but Chase is out this week, so in his place is Josh the Raw Beefcake Cartographer. Josh? Josh, get out here, Josh. You know, Chase would've already been out here. Yeah, yeah that and, makes sense. And On your mark, his man. His shirt would've been buttoned, too. I've tried to button it, but it's cutting off a lot of circulation in a lot of places. Oh, so yes. it's basically, it's not that you want to unbutton, it's that you cannot button it. Yeah, correct, Mundo. Uh -huh. Unless you want to try, we can get some nonstick spray and figure it out. I do not want to try You anything. sure? You look like you want to try. No, I do not want to try. Well, you'll try. I mean, I'm kind of tempted to give you one of these to see if all of that there just kind of deflates. <laughs> it will, it will. Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't think it will. Don't be so self-deprecating. Let me do that! Yeah. Uh, mm. You're making me uncomfortable. Whoever has the lowest score at the end wins, and since Rhett won last time, I get the special advantage raw meat cleat. Yeah. Dart, and the winner in the end is gonna be declared the best person you'll ever meet. I get it. And get a special prize. Let's get raw. Oh, gosh. You gonna have a rough time today, Neil. I mean, I, yeah, this is artistic. It's like a porcupine made out of raw, what is beef? that, ground beef? I believe it it's is. It's a freaking tartare situation. And I, do you just use a, I'm afraid an onion is, slice man. for it? Uh, and there's, it's got an olive for an eye. How is this How is this not bad for you? Because it's raw p hamburger. There's a lot of like legal things here that I don't want to overstep, so I'm just gonna say have fun. <laughs> All right, but it, are you saying it's safe? Yeah, it's safe enough. Have fun. I mean, I just ate. I'm a fan of this. Raw hamburger is what it tasted like. You, yeah, you just exactly what you did. You ate raw hamburger. Uh, yeah, I'm a tartar kind of guy. You know, <clears throat> I'm into, I'm into this. Well, you're going first, so. I mean, it, I gotta say, it just tastes like straight up raw beef. It's peppery, which is nice. There's not a whole lot going on. I did put the olive eye in my mouth. Oh, and you know what? Look at this freaking Halloween set we got. I don't Look know if you noticed. There's a freaking spider. There's a spider back here that's bigger than Josh Shearer. Dad, can you see that spider? Hi, Rip. It's your dad. <laughs> hey, Dad. We knew that. Yeah, my dad's down there. And I think that my mom is joining us today. Hi, Reddy Poo. It's your mom. 
<laughs> Man, I got my mom and my dad t with me together. When was the last time that happened for you? Um, yeah, that doesn't. Yeah, it's um, it's it's better to not happen. Yeah, for me. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna think about this too much. I believe that this is indicative of a porcupine. A porcupine. I say porcupine, porcupine? because I'm from North Carolina, but yeah. it's actually a porcupine. And I think that porcupines are only North and South America. So I'm going with Peru without thinking about it too much. Oh, really? Oh. And I went really low. A little low. The first time, and I'm probably the only time I had steak tartare. Do you remember where this was? We were traveling. Amsterdam. Yes. Yes. And I don't know why, but something about being in Amsterdam, you were like, we have to have the tartare. No, I didn't say that. Who said it? It was Brent. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Leave he, it to my it, agent to try to like. He was very, me. he was very excited about it, and I, I the only reason I didn't. I like was it, already full, I and I already, lied to him. I'd I was already like, eaten. I love this. But Germany's the closest thing to Amsterdam, so that's what I'm throwing. Hey, from. Dad, you got any advice for Link? Your mother has an interesting way of never being wrong. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Uh -oh. You talking about my mother? Hey, mom, he's talking about you. Oh. Your father and I aren't exactly on speaking terms right now. Oh, he why? knows why. Oh my goodness, we got them both. You talking about my parents? They're not, not doing well, well. You know what? It sometimes it, it, it. I'll help you get through it. But I think that it, uh, they might actually get through it. <laughs> I'm going for Germany. <clears throat> Hey, Ooh, hey, yeah. good, that's a good toss. All right, Josh, break out your stuff. Oh, I just man. mean measure. The, the, this I, oh, is, gotcha. this is well, the part where I tell you the answer and you don't look at Josh. Oh, you don't thing. know the answer? Oh, I, I, I do, but I'm, I'm trying to let due process. I'll, most marriages end in divorce now. Yeah, right. Statistically. Yeah. Stevie. Yeah. So. Okay, so the good news is that you did not just eat raw hedgehog meat. This is supposed to be a hedgehog. This is hedgehog. Met Eagle which is often served at buffets in the shape of a hedgehog, and it's made of minced raw meat with olives for eyes and onion quills. While the most common version is made with raw pork, you can occasionally find it made with raw beef, which is what you just had. If you want to try the raw pork version, you have to hop on a flight to Germany. Hey! Yes! Well, Link! I guessed something right, I aimed for it, and I almost hit it. Man, that's a quite a start. Give me a second. Oh, I'm not mobile in this shirt either. What do we got? Hold on. Look at those tattoos. I'm trying. 44. Yeah, get a good look. You won't help me adjust the shirt, but you'll ogle my tattoos. Thank <laughs> you. I've never used a tape measure like this either. It's like retractable. And it's just, I'm saying there's, I respect what Chase does. You remember when Chase, we used to do this? Yeah, he's not going to be here all week and it's going to be a long uh, week. Ahem. Ahem. Rhett, you have gotten 44, a pretty, pretty poor effort. Yep. Link, you've gotten five. Great job and I'm proud of you. Hey. Wow. Who needs parents? That's right, yeah. Who needs Chase? <laughs> <laughs> this looks a lot like the last round. Yeah, it's the same thing. The thing I don't love about it is that you It's can, not cooked? You can, that, and you can tell where somebody, I don't know if it was Josh, Nicole, just kind of wrapped their fist around this thing and just squeezed it. Like, yeah, that's exactly what happened. Do you, you want to try and match my fingers to it? Uh, no, I like can tell from here that this is a smaller hand. Okay. It's like a, somebody stress balled this raw meat and now expecting me to just eat it. I'm just getting a little taste. Okay, you're going taco style, I, I, I respect that. Spicy. It does have a taco flavoring. There's something mixed into it that's not meat. It's like There's a- There's a cumin in there. What is that, hominy? You have a wild lead, so you get to go First! I know it's early and I'm not gonna bask in any type of lead because I know how that goes. Right, Rhett's dad? Link, does your mother tell her book club when your stepdad has diarrhea? Yeah, I, yeah there's, they got a lot to work through. Okay, I need to formulate an answer. Uh, oh, maybe I should just keep going with Germany. That certainly worked before. Well, it is right in the middle. Now I think we're in Peruvian territory mm. because there's something about that spice. All right, now is the time for Peru. A little low. I 100% agree. I was hoping oh, you, you do? Uh, see, I was hoping I could make up some of that lead that you just got, but I'm not gonna be able to do it because I'm going for the same answer. He thinks I'm right. This has got cumin in it and it's in a taco shape, so I do believe that you're right. I, now it's just gonna get closer to Peru. Coming. Oh. Yes, you did. Were we right, Stevie? Was I right and did he copy me? Josh? <laughs> this is 
Chi kofti, a dish made from raw lamb, bulgur, onions, oh, gosh, and fresh mint. Turkey. This fatless raw mincemeat mixture is also needed with spices, which is said to cook the meat, and it's a regional specialty found in Turkey. Turkey. Dang it. Lamb. How do you know? Oh, just because I didn't taste any lamb in that. I, it was when she said lamb. Hey, uh, Rhett, you, uh, you got 35, and uh, Link, you got, you got about 40. Okay. About? Yeah. You kind of need also, to be Also, there's like, there's like no cumin in Mexican food. It's like really only Taco Bell is why we think of that. Man. Hey, Rhett, we've got... That's a, a yam. And it's raw, too. Let me bite. Let me, Let me bite. Oh, it's not raw. I like a good raw it's yam. It's a coach yam, and we have a sort of a flat bean of sorts. Oh, really? And then we've got a very saucy... Uh, is this fish? Or I mean, it better not be raw chicken. You can't do that. It's raw chicken. I'm gonna eat this white thing on it. What is That's that? That's definitely raw chicken. You can get that raw chicken down. Ooh, it's spicy. What kind of bean is that? That's fish. That's fish, my friends. Okay. Woo! You're still up, bro. The spiciness. You still got a big lead. Definitely that's, helps me not think about the fact that like. That's a good. That's a good flavor. I mean, what am I? Am I gonna get trichinosis today? I don't know. I, I'm trusting you guys a lot. We're definitely looking for a uh, a coastal locale where they just snatch the fish up and then chop it up fresh, add a little yam slice and some some white white beanness. Could be Japan. White beanness. Dad, what do you think? Tell your mother that I'll remember to put the toilet seat down when she remembers that I like the thermostat at a cool 42 degrees. <laughs> 42 degrees? Yeah, he does, he does like a cold. Will you tell your father that soy sauce does go with everything and to leave me and my toaster strudels alone? I got my fingers in my ears and I can't hear nothing. <laughs> Wow, I didn't, I'm sorry about this. I really didn't know that this was gonna happen today. I thought it was a cool opportunity to bring both of them together. I was like, mom cam, dad cam, together at last. And apparently they're just, they're fighting right now. And, Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> She's mad at me too. All right, Link, go for it. I mean, Japan is surrounded by nothing but water. Fishes and yams. So I'm, I'm, I'm feeling my lead and I'm gonna double down. Japan. That's close. There's a part of me that thinks, do they do this type of just raw fish in a place like Portugal? There's lots of yams in in Japanese food and in this particular bean. I don't know, man. I think you're just gonna keep your lead for now because I've gotta go for Japan and just hope I get a little bit closer and some, somehow in the next two rounds, I mm. there's a big swing. I think Portugal could be an answer, but. Come on, use your nuts. Oh gosh, maybe it's Cambodia. <laughs> Something about. Pulling out to an early lead. This really got him on his heels. Yep. His parents aren't getting along. Yeah, I'm having, Stevie? A, having a rough day. You just tried tiradito. Oh. It's a raw fish dish. This is yellowtail, cut in the shape of sashimi in a spicy sauce and garnished with sweet potatoes and boiled corn. This widely enjoyed dish reflects the influence of Japanese immigrants on the cuisine of Peru. Oh, Peru? See, but you said Japan in your thing. Man, I'm a little bit closer just because it, I'm such a bad thrower. I was tasting that Japanese influence on Peru. Brett, you've gotten 57. Link, you lost this round, you got 66. Okay, still close. Oh, I'm inching, I'm inching yeah. back, man. Okay, this is a big pile of meat. Uh, I, I can, gosh, I can. What is this? I can limit it for you, for you. I can limit it for you. I'm afraid that this is an organ. Only one way to find is out. Is it, I mean, it looks cooked. But I cannot, I cannot fork through this. It's thing. not cooked. I mean, this would be like a dog's dream. When Nicole set this down, she said, "This is slightly warmed." So it's like raw meat chunks, yeah. slightly warmed. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's raw. I mean, it's steak. It's marinated steak. This is ready to be grilled. It's hot. This is like something to get. They, yeah. They you know put, what? They put on the grill. I bet you if you grilled it, <coughs> it would be awesome. Super, super spicy. Oh man, which. Uh, you okay? Mm. Yeah, I just need some moral support from your parents, especially if they're getting along now. Dad? Oh, hello, Link. <laughs> He's not happy with you either. Mom, what, what, about, what do you think about Link? Oh, hello, Link. You're just now realizing I'm here? <laughs> Tell your father that I know he is secretly drinking my perfume when I'm not home. Oh, gosh. It's Tell your mother to quit hiding her perfume. 
It's not my fault it tastes like candy. Thank you. Um, okay, the heat's dissipating. That's very hot. Raw meat, marinated, but not grilled. Pre-grilled <laughs> yeah, meat. Yeah, you could grill it, it'd probably be real good. New Zealand is a temptation, but that's a risk way down you, there you in the corner. You could miss the whole board. This could be Ethiopia, hoping this isn't New Zealand. Oh, a little high, way too high. When this was set before me, I smelled it and I actually thought that it might be goat. So I was thinking Ethiopia, just be, it actually kind of had this sort of, it, it had a look of something with that, that spice. I, I thought Ethiopia was a great guess. It's a dark compote. But now that it's beef, man. So then I started to think, is this Uruguay? Because that's right next to Argentina. <clears throat> in Argentina, they love their beef in Argentina. You've got basically a cheat on the last round. Yeah, I do. So I feel like I gotta make a, the bold play and hope that it's Uruguay, and if it's, and if it's wrong, I lose. It's true. <laughs> What's true? That's Bad you. move. Oh. He says, he's agreeing with her now. They're, they're coming together against your answer. You should change it to Whatever. <laughs> yeah, no, now she's just throwing her hands up, whatever. I'm, I'm sorry, Mom. Yeah, because she sorry, knows Dad. you're not gonna listen to her. I'm going with Uruguay. Okay. <laughs> Come, you're you make, making me lose my confidence. Yeah. Oh, that's close to the wrong answer. Stevie, come on, bring out New Zealand and show us who's boss. This popular dish enjoyed during celebrations and festive occasions is called Gored Gored, and it's made from raw, unmarinated cubes of beef. It's paired with lemon wedges, mustard, injera flatbread, and uh, awaze chili sauce, and it's Ethiopia. considered the unofficial national d dish of Ethiopia. Yes! Yeah. I was right after I decided to not go with my first one. I should have listened to my parents. Rhett, you got 36. Link, you got 17. Ha! Ha! Bring it on! Looks like we have a pate of sorts. Yes, thank it. Sink it. Oh, there's also there's a gingerbread. Oh, that is strange. I mean, when raw meat turns the color of gingerbread, I start to get scared. No, the gingerbread is the smell. It's well, weird to me. I think it's a pate. I think it, but it doesn't taste bad. I don't taste any liver. That's some spiced meat. Bring in my advantage dart. What is this thing? So it is a pole. Good gracious. It is a pole. Here we go, here we go, here we go. With a cleat on the end with a stake underneath the cleat. So any place that you get moisture is uh, is is your answer. And you can literally touch. So I, I can be very precise. precise with this, but it's 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 anybody's space because it's it's uh, it's a free free round. I mean, there's a lot of countries in Africa. Uh, they're staring right at me. It's spicy, it's gingerbready. This is like a Nordic thing. I think this might be like penguin pate. Penguin pate, which would be highly illegal. So I'm actually thinking that it's more up, good gosh, this is heavy. So I'm gonna go. There it is, Josh, you see you what I've done? You basically have covered Europe. Yeah, I see the snail trail. Oh, there, there's, yeah, yeah, it's right. pretty evident. I've covered Europe. It's pretty evident where the wetness is. Okay, I'd be willing to bet that you've covered the country, because I mean, I mean, just the presentation of this on this little piece of square bread, this is super European, right? Yeah, the gingerbread of it all. Um, I'm gonna guess Iceland, and I'm gonna say, if I can hit Iceland, and it is Iceland, you let me win? I mean, I have to hit Iceland and it has to be the correct answer. If it is Iceland and you've hit Iceland, then you win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't hit it. I almost hit... Uh, that was close, though. Norway? All right, here we go. Stevie? This is Ossenwurst, a raw sausage dish made with ox meat, flavored with cloves, mace, and nutmeg. Mace? And served There's mace on, in this? Yeah. On top of crostini bread, of course, Ossen is Dutch for oxen, which makes sense because this is from the Netherlands. Oh wow! Did you mm. did, did you get Netherlands? Not quite Nordic, but it's hey Netherlands is where I freaking had my first raw meat. My yeah. first raw it's beef. All, it, it all comes back to that. Red, you got three. Link, you got six. <laughs> 
Well, that doesn't make up the gap. I don't know what's wrong with Josh. You know what? It's yeah, his yeah, first he's, time. He's out of his I element. struggle in new environments. You know, this is, can we just redo it? Can we start from the beginning? <laughs> nope. This is it. Oh, we got it. It's I won. forever archived. I'm so glad you're here for such a special moment for me that rarely happens. I think you were the key for me. I'll be there every time. I like watching from back there. But I do miss Chase. Well, <laughs> Congratulations, I get a prize. Link. Uh, you get a prize. You get, uh, look at that. Raw the Meat Monthly. Person you'll ever meet on the front of Raw Meat Monthly. Yeah, we were able to work that out very quickly. They're a very fluid uh, publication. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hello, I'm Diego. I'm in Puebla, Mexico. This is the Star of Puebla, one of the largest observation wheels in Latin America, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Observation wheel. Would you like to go observe something? I'd like to spin it like this. Click the top link to watch us dig deep into the wrestlers of WWE and here, a uh, very special story from Link. Oh, we had to find out where the Will of Mythicality is gonna land. To get the Red Link plushies, join Third Degree Monthly by October 31st or quarterly or annual by December 31st. Visit mythicalsociety.com for details.